So this is the LG Gram 2020. I've done an unboxing and first impressions video. If you're interested in that, there's a link in the description. But what I've done is taken all your questions from the previous video and turned it into a review. Now we know this is a 2.6 pound laptop, probably the lightest 17 inch ultrabook you can buy right now. But when you touch it, you feel it, it doesn't feel premium. It has this very plasticky feel to it. You press on the chassis, it flexes in. Even though it's technically using a metal, the one thing you have to understand is that it's actually really durable. This is one of the most durable 17 inch ultrabooks I've used. At the end of that unboxing video I did, I flipped the laptop into the air and I actually dropped it on the floor. There was not one scuff, not one scratch or issue with the laptop. Also, you guys asked whether or not this can withstand your backpack with a lot of books inside. I decided to take a laptop, place it horizontally, and put 13 pounds of books on top of it, which is a lot heavier than being in your backpack. The outcome was that it survived. After one hour of all this weight on top of the laptop, there was not one issue, it powered on, and everything was working perfectly. Now, getting inside is easy. Not much is upgradable. Like, you do have access to two M2 slots. One of the drives is already populated. You can swap this out, put something bigger. And if you want a second drive, you have a space right here. RAM 8 gigabytes is automatically soldered onto the motherboard, but you can upgrade this slot, giving you a potential maximum of 40 gigabytes. You do have an 80 watt hour battery, but I feel like there's a lot more space to play something bigger. And because of that, I'm only getting nine hours and 35 minutes before needing to charge. In all fairness, this is the QHD model, so I'm assuming the Full HD model will get better battery life. The fan situation is kind of annoying because I think they could have done a better cooling job, and I'll talk about that shortly. Like, there's only one fan to cool the CPU and integrated GPU. Wi-Fi card is soldered onto the motherboard, so you can't upgrade that. The 17-inch display on this laptop has a great aspect ratio, 16 by 10, which is like the sweet spot between 16 by 9 and 3 by 2, so you have a lot of vertical space for product activity. Color gamut is fantastic. Brightness is fantastic. However, color accuracy is not the greatest, especially when you compare it to the entry level Dell XPS 13 or even the MacBook Pro. Like They're marketing this laptop towards creators, but the color accuracy is not as good as it should be. The other thing to note is reflectiveness of the screen. Like This is a glass panel, it's not touch, and when you compare it to the MacBook Pro, this screen is definitely slightly more reflective. If you're sensitive to PWM, like flickering, you won't find that issue with this laptop. It's using DC dimming, so you won't have any eye strain. The model I have here is the i7 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's using the Iris Plus graphics. It has a fast SSD and the price point is under $2,000. Now, if you're buying this to do programming on it, I think there's better Ultrabooks out there, like testing my compiling tests compared to other laptops. Even i5s like the Dell XPS 13 outperform this one. If you plan on buying this to do schoolwork and some light gaming, gaming on this is also not that great. Even though the Iris Plus does offer a significant performance boost, this laptop is being throttled by its power limiter. You just don't get the performance that you would on other Ultrabooks. However, when you connect it to an external GPU, I was getting much better frame rates. Like Overwatch was completely playable with settings set to high. This was using a GTX 1070 connected to this device. Fortnite or any of the other older but still relevant games will run fine if this is connected to an external GPU. And the reason why these performance limits are happening is because LG is giving fan noise priority over performance. There's only one fan in here, so you don't hear it. Like when this is under full load, it's under 40 decibels. This is significantly lower than the MacBook Pro 16 or most other Ultrabooks. But the problem with that is that you're limited on how far you can push this laptop. Like if you're someone doing general productivity, the laptop's great. You'll have good battery life, you'll be able to do your work, but as soon as you start pushing this and anything else, even light video editing or even light gaming, the laptop completely suffers. Now, if you want to install Linux on this, you can. You can go into the BIOS, you can enable USB boot, and you can install a Linux distro on this and the laptop will run it fine. And even heat management is great because of the power throttling. Like the keyboard deck always stayed around 40 to 43 degrees Celsius, which is fantastic in my books. So should you buy the LG Gram 17 inch laptop? I think it's a great buy if you're someone who's doing general productivity, maybe some Excel work, browsing the internet, and just general everyday stuff. If you're looking for a 17 inch Ultrabook that's super light, this is the best 
best out there. However, if you're someone in a mixed work environment where you really need to push the CPU and integrated GPU, I think there are better ultra books to look at. Like the Dell XPS 13 gives you much more performance. And I think LG just needs to refine the little things like better speakers, get rid of the barrel connector and give us a bigger USB type C ports. If you're marketing this towards content creators, give us a more color accurate display. Put an SD card instead of a micro SD card. All these little things will improve this product to give users a better experience. I hope I answered all of your questions. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.